morning everyone welcome back to the nature patch my name's Robin and thank you so much for joining me in on another video I'm sorry I've been a little bit slack with videos lately I try and put up two a week but lately I've just been doing one I really wanted to do two videos a week but I found that a little bit challenging especially as I had a cold for a week but I'm gonna try my best to get two videos a week up one on Monday and one on Friday but I've been trying to do something in the garden each day despite being a little bit unwell. It'll look a little bit different to my August garden tour because I've filled all of my beds now. I've planted a lot of my spring and summer seedlings. The main challenge lately has been the weather. It, um, it's just really on and off at the moment. Today we had about three days of 34 to 35 degrees Celsius and during those days were just a really dry hot wind that some of the plants didn't agree with. We also had a lot of bushfires around and a dust storm which didn't really make the best conditions to do some gardening, but I did my best. And so today I'm just gonna finish planting a few more seeds that I didn't get to on the weekend and also pull out some of the plants that really struggled with the heat that we got. It's only the beginning of spring and we're already getting 35 and 34 degree heat. And that heat was just like detrimental to some of the plants, they just couldn't survive. So I'm gonna head over there and actually plant my beans today and also pull up some of the snow peas that aren't doing very well. So it is going to be a little bit windy in the background so I'm really sorry for that noise. But this is what the garden is looking like at the moment. All the beds are filled with um, lots of seedlings in them. So yesterday Scott and I planted some Kajari melons, spaghetti squash, a Waltham butternut, some black beauty zucchini, German pickling cucumber, and some Coco Zell zucchini. So just from those beds there are some other zucchinis that I planted along here and behind where that mug of tea is I'm going to be planting my beans. So I'm planting two types of beans um, and they're going to go in a row along there and on the other side of this fence there's also going to be a row along there and they're both going to climb up um, this little cage here and hopefully do well here. And these are the two types of beans that I'm planting. I'm planting the, um, they're both climbing beans. I'm planting the Blue Lake and the Purple King. So I'm gonna plant my green beans in here and purple beans on the other side. So I've also got a bucket of just some um, potting mix which has got a slow release fertilizer in it. And I'm gonna put this on where I'm planting the seeds just to give this soil a little bit of extra nutrients um, because it's really crappy soil and I've had to, um, and I've had to add a bit of lime over time blood and bone and other organic materials just to make this a little bit more usable but prior to doing anything to this soil it was just kind of rock hard clay and kind of full of rocks as well. So these beans need to be planted 20 millimeters deep and about 15 centimeters apart. So they're all done, I'm gonna give them a water in and I'll pop over to the other side of the fence and do the Purple King. So they're all done too, hopefully they will climb up nicely, I might have to give them a little bit more support to go towards the fence, um, but we'll see how they go. I've never actually grown beans before so I'm excited to see how these are going to go and I'd love to hear any suggestions or tips on how to grow them. Okay so I need to drink some of my tea because um, my throat is really sore but my next job is to take out one of these um, wigwams of all of my peas on it. And so as you can see, it's pretty sad. And this also happened right after um, when we got those really, really hot days. It just seemed to not be very happy. Um, I picked all of the peas off it last night and we did get a decent amount um, and they were quite delicious. Um, this one over here is still producing nicely. It's getting the same disease of whatever the other one has. Um, but it's still pretty healthy up the top and producing some nice peas. 
So I'm just gonna take out this one today and prep this area a little bit more to have tomatoes in here. I also must have chucked some radish seeds in there. Um, so bonus a few radishes. Some are a little bit split, but they should still be fine to eat. So this wigwam actually held up really well. So I put a lot of string on an old tomato support, um, but I think I'm actually gonna use this in the garden somewhere and plant some more climbing beans because it's the right height for them. Um, and I have leftover bean seeds, so. so I need to do a bit of planning to see where I can fit it, if I can fit it somewhere. Um, but I think this would be really cool to have some more beans on it. As for most of the rest of that foliage, I'm gonna try and put most of the green stuff in the compost. It'll be a hot compost, so hopefully whatever disease it gets on it, um, that'll die in the compost. One of the things I do have to deal with um, if I come outside alone and there's no one else in the house is Annie crying and wanting to come outside. So this is what I have to deal with most of the time. Do you want to come outside? And want to go outside? So I'm gonna take this little one outside and then I will finish this video. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay. Come on. So we try and take Annie out every day, or sometimes twice a day for at least 15 minutes. It's just good for like cats' mental health if you don't get to bring them outside. They get stimulated a little bit more um, and they get less bored. And it ties them out as well, which is great for me. The only thing when it's really windy, she tends to go a little bit insane. So we'll keep an eye on her. So Annie's only almost six months old and around this time was when we were planning on taking her outside but because we live right next to a big patch of bush and she's most likely going to go in there we have um, really bad paralysis ticks around us so we need to um, give her the little drops before she can go out so we need to get some of that um, and then she can go outside during the day and we're not going to let her outside at night um, she'll be inside at night are you having fun? Whoa. Seen something. Oh. oh my goodness. See, this is what the wind does to it. Actually, while we're in here, I planted my tomato, or some of the volunteer tomatoes up the other day, um, and in the hole where Annie is, I was planning on planting another one in there um, until I came across this massive rock, which totally ruined one of my spades. Um, so I'm not going to be planting in there, I'm going to be planting something with pretty shallow roots in there. But this is the kind of things that I have to deal with in my veggie patch. Massive rocks. And I also spread out a heap of compost, um, it's still decomposing a little bit so I'm going to leave it sit for a while. Um, in this bed here that I'm going to be planting more tomatoes in. And pulled up a lot of the leeks and onions in here that weren't doing well. Again, more tomatoes are gonna to be in here. In between all of the tomatoes that I'm planting everywhere, I'm planting marigolds, calendula, basil, and some other flowers and possibly some rosemary as well. Just have some good plants that keep pests away. And then in this bed here, I'm planning on planting a row of okra and my bush beans and possibly some capsicum if they do okay. So I think I might leave the video here. Annie and I are going to finish our little walk around the garden. I don't actually mind it because it gives me a chance to walk around the garden and see um, what's happening. Okay, so we're gonna finish our walk. I hope you enjoyed the video today. I'm gonna try and get videos up every Monday and Friday. So fingers crossed that I can do that. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. And I'm gonna take this cat in to stop eating all of my plants. So I will see you in my next video. Happy gardening, bye. Say bye Annie, you need to go inside. You're a bit crazy.